Cognitive biases are mental shortcuts we take to process information quickly and efficiently. However, sometimes these biases can be exploited without us even knowing, especially by advertisers. Of course, marketing is an important part of any company in order to increase their brand awareness. But we at Psychology Element wanted to let you in on some of their tricks to help you think twice about making that purchase. Number 10. The Barnum Effect The Barnum Effect is one of the many cognitive biases marketers will use to encourage you to make purchases. The Barnum Effect is when people look at vague personality descriptions and apply it to themselves. Think zodiac signs and daily horoscopes. Their descriptions are tailored in a way that make the readers feel as if it were tailored for them, when really, anyone regardless of their zodiac sign could relate. Now, how could marketers and advertisers benefit from using this? Think of websites like BuzzFeed, who offer quizzes with personal recommendations based on their answers. At the end of the quiz, the recommendation will often have an affiliate link, which gives them a commission from the sale. Another way brands will use the Barnum Effect is by personalizing emails that suggest it was customized just for the customer. An example of this would be having the title of an email read, Check out our surprise gift, just for you, to make the reader feel like the brand is speaking directly to them. Number 9. The Von Restorff Effect the Von Restorff effect is one that is commonly used in advertisements. Also known as the isolation effect, the Von Restorff effect occurs when multiple similar items are presented simultaneously, and the item that is most different and unique will be the most remembered. Advertisers will make use of this by attempting to make their products stand out from their competitors. You might notice this if you purchase beauty supplies. Although each different beauty brand has similar products, the product's packaging will be crucial in making a lasting impression on the customers. Whether they try using bright colors or different textures to catch your attention, the one that is most unique will likely remain in your memory the longest. Number 8. The Humor Effect Everyone loves a good laugh, right? Well, marketers know that and utilize it to their advantage. Did you know that nearly a third of all advertisements are based on humor? Why is this? Well, the humor effect is a cognitive bias that allows us to remember information that we found humorous easier than information that isn't funny. Teachers will even often utilize this strong cognitive bias in the classroom by associating funny jokes with key learning terms. Humor is shown to increase interest in topics people might not normally be interested in. This is why commercials for more mundane objects that typically wouldn't gather much interest, like toothpaste or auto insurance, will rely on funny advertisements to make them more memorable. Humor also increases positive moods, which will trigger the cognitive bias, the effect heuristic, which means people are more likely to make decisions based on their current emotions. If a funny commercial made them laugh, they're likely to remember it fondly in the future and be more likely to make a purchase. So the next time you're cracking up over a commercial, try to remember that it was designed that way to evoke that exact reaction. If you want to learn more about effect heuristic and other biases, check out our video, 10 Cognitive Biases That Control You, listed below. Number 7. The Nostalgia Effect Have you noticed the recent intake move of remakes and sequels? Or have you found yourself spending double to drink your favorite soda from a glass bottle, just like the good old days? Well, it turns out marketers seem to have found our weak spot for the cozy, comfortable days of our childhood. Researchers have conducted studies on the relationship between nostalgia in an attempt to understand why nostalgia sells so well. What they found surprised us because it was so obvious. Turns out, nostalgia increases social connectedness, pro-social behaviors, and reduced loneliness. That explains why nostalgia always feels so comforting. Now, what other ways do marketers have to use nostalgia to their advantage? Well, just look at apps like TimeHop that create memories surrounding photos with your friends, which naturally reduces the feelings of loneliness, or even the hashtag Throwback Thursday, which brands can use on their social media to evoke the feeling of social connectedness. If you still have any doubts about the strength of nostalgia in marketing, according to one survey, 71% of Americans preferred brands from their childhood, which explains why some brands like Quaker or Campbell Soup are still successful today. Number six, the placebo effect. The placebo effect is a well-known cognitive bias that is noticed across many different fields and disciplines, such as medicine, psychology, and of course, marketing. If you haven't heard of the placebo effect, essentially it is when a person's attitude or behavior is changed in accordance with a specific reaction. The classic example is an individual taking a sugar pill and being told it is a drug of some sort that will make them intoxicated. Despite the pill consisting only of sugar, the individual will begin acting intoxicated with no drug being present. So how are advertisers using this? If you look at any overpriced health supplements or vitamins that promise magical results, when the generic brand offers the same product at a fraction of the price, they're often banking on the placebo effect to work in order to hook you. 
We aren't saying the products have no benefits. We are simply saying that if you feel anything miraculous happening, it might be in your head. Do you like what you're hearing? Like and subscribe for more great psychology content. Number five, the authenticity effect. The authenticity effect is a cognitive bias which encourages us to favor people or brands that show their human, authentic side. People like to be able to relate to those around them, and marketers have figured out a way to manufacture that sensation. How do corporations appear more authentic and sincere? One way brands have been doing it is by reducing the amount of Photoshop used in models. Another is by donating a chunk of their profits to a charity that is in accordance with their brand values. You might not think or view your brands as having a human side, but surprisingly, when brands make the switch to becoming more authentic and transparent to their customers, their revenue can increase by up to 50%, according to some case studies. Number four, weather effects. This one should come as no surprise, especially since online shopping is becoming more and more popular but the weather can have tremendous impacts on sales. When it is warm and sunny outside, sales in big box stores like Walmart or shopping malls tend to increase. However, when it is cold or rainy, online sales can increase by up to 18%. But how can advertisers predict what the weather is going to be? Well, modern technology has ensured that it is easier than ever. Some marketing apps create targeted ads based on the weather in your local area. Spooky, right? Next time you're browsing online on a rainy day, we bet you'll notice a lot more cozy sweaters on your pop-up ads. Then the next day, if the weather is hot, suddenly the ads will be filled with shorts and bikinis. Number three, rhyme is reason effect. Not as many ads feature catchy rhymes and jingles these days, but they should, as the rhyme is reason effect creates the illusion of truthfulness when statements rhyme. Also known as the Eaton rosen effect, studies have shown that rhymes can appear 22% more truthful regardless of what they claim. Brands love to use this as an easy way to reinforce credibility in consumers' minds. Just look at popular slogans such as, Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. The catchy sentence sticks in our mind and solidifies the impression as a memorable and reliable brand. Number two, reward bias. Everyone loves free rewards, even better when they're instant. The reward bias is people's tendency to be swayed into taking action when they are promised an immediate reward. Just think of any referral programs you have participated in. Are you going to invite your friends to join a service if there is no incentive for you? If the service is fantastic, then perhaps. However, most companies don't like to rely on that scenario and will often offer rewards such as instant cash bonuses, free samples, or reward points to use at a later time. Subscription services like Netflix will also offer free trials of their service as people are more likely to subscribe for a longer term subscription when given a free trial. So, if you're ever being persuaded to take action in exchange for a specific reward, just make sure the costs don't outweigh the benefits. Number one, the pratfall effect. The pratfall effect is a fascinating psychological phenomenon that celebrities in particular benefit from when marketing their own brands. The pratfall effect is when people tend to rate individuals or objects more favorably, even when they are involved in a social blunder or manufacturing defect so long as they are seen as competent and credible previously. For example, let's look at two very different celebrities, Lindsay Lohan and Jennifer Lawrence. After Lindsay Lohan's rather turbulent Hollywood escapades regarding substance abuse and other illegal activities, if she were to engage in a frowned upon activity today, people's opinions of her either would not change or they would lessen. Unfortunately, no offense to Lindsay Lohan, but she hasn't been seen as the most credible actress since her big hit Mean Girls in 2004. In this scenario, Lindsay Lohan would not be an example of the pratfall effect doing its magic. However, Jennifer Lawrence, a two-time Oscar winner with several other nominations and awards under her belt, is the perfect example of the pratfall effect helping this starlet reach higher levels of fame. In 2013, while accepting her Oscar award for the movie Silver Linings Playbook, Lawrence tripped on the steps while walking to receive her award. The clumsy moment didn't result in ridicule for the actress. Rather, people loved her even more for appearing more down-to-earth. Similar to the authenticity effect, people love to see the human side of celebrities and brands, including their flaws. However, it is important to remember the pratfall effect only works if the individual or product is seen as competent and credible. Just imagine if Lindsay Lohan tripped up the stairs on camera. We can imagine the media would be portraying it much differently than a girl next door moment. And for more great content, check out some of these other great videos. Have you noticed yourself ever falling for any of these cool marketing tricks? Do you think you're stronger than the powers of advertising? We'd love to hear your thoughts.